Hey everyone, we're back today and we're going to do a smallmouth spotted bass jig, uh, spotted bass football jig light. Um, and the reason it's light is we're still using the, uh, this is an FG12 weed guard that we're going to put in here. But uh, we're using a 90 degree hook instead of a heavy wire 60 degree this is sort of a heavy wire 90 degree hook. In the vise, we have a quarter ounce football head and it's got a new uh, Victory 1013 jig hook. It's uh, similar in size to the owner 5313. Um, it's a little less expensive, but it's also a little heavier than the 5313. Um, they even give it that like little curved hook point. Um, I haven't tried this on the water, but I can tell you it is wicked sharp. Uh, and if you're not careful, you will poke yourself to the point of drawing blood. Don't ask me how I know that. But anyway, quarter ounce football head, two aught, victory, 10, 313 hook. The color is Bamacraw, and uh, there's all this, I think it's um, holographic gold glitter in it, but it could be copper as well. That's the kind of uh, flash you get off of it. I'm sorry about my camera work. You can't really tell, um, but this has a, a nice deal of flash in it, um, and I think I come up with a pattern it should work really well. Um, I've been playing with this color for a little bit. Uh, I'm really starting to like this paint. So let's get started with some black 210 denier flat wax nylon thread, which is like what I use all the time. No surprise. Uh, if it isn't broke, don't fix it, right? And that's how this thread is for me. So we get a little bit of a base started. And the first thing I'm going to add is this is 15 strands of half wire butterscotch. And I don't know if you can see this, but this has a similar glitter in it like uh, the, the Bamacraw paint. And it's got like, um, it almost looks like a scale pattern on it. It's really nice. Uh, I've been wanting this and it was out for a long time and it finally came back in. So I grabbed it and immediately the Bama Craw was like, yeah, this is going to work with that color paint. So anyway, we got 15 strands here and we're going to tie it in again. We're going to do this finesse style. Um, Like I said, I, I call it the light version of that spotted bass smallmouth uh, football jig that I do with the flat eye hook. Uh, that's a heavy wire flat eye. And this is a little bit heavier 90 degree hook, but it is, uh, it's a smaller deal. Instead of a 3.8, we got a quarter ounce. But I do it in 3.8 as well. I've been playing with it, so... Um, there's that. And I'm going to fold this over since it is a shorter jig. We can get away with doing this. Saves on skirt material. After all, some, some colors are still hard to get. And we're not out of the supply chain problems. That's for sure. See it everywhere. I'm just going to tighten it down here a couple wraps just to secure it. Now, the next thing I'm going to add is this is seven strands of uh, Nature's Edge Pumpkin. A seven strands sounds strange, but um, 
we're going to end up with a, a 44 strand skirt. We have 30 here. 15 and 15 is 30. And 7 and 7 is 14. So 30 and 14 gives us the, the 44. I don't want a whole lot of material on a quarter ounce, but I want a little bit more on this. It is a football jig, and it's going to be uh, drug on the bottom across, you know, uh, shallow rock flats. That's kind of the idea behind this pattern, which I happen to call uh, bottom crawler. Because that's it. It kind of resembles the the bottom of a a lake or river, and it'll blend in. But you you really don't see it until it starts moving. And that's the whole idea of this. And we're not done yet, though, after we get our collar situated here. I took two strands and cut each strand in half of this flash. And this is flat. It's root beer pearl crystal flash. And I again, I apologize that my camera work is so terrible. Same as my lighting. But, um... This stuff, this root beer pearl just seems to work with this, everything that's going on with this, this pattern here, this color, everything just goes together really well. And I'm going to snip that right away. I'm going to take my other two strands and do the same thing. Just got to make sure I can get them really well. And we will whip finish. Six. And we'll go four more. You always find something new and different. Um, I always like to throw something different. I don't want the fish uh, in my area to get conditioned to anything. Look at I found another strand. That's I did drop that one. I was wondering what happened. We're gonna put it on here. This is another thing. If it ever happens to you, start it out the same way. Put your little bit of a base on to get your thread started. Watch this. As long as we didn't put the head cement on, a couple strand, a uh, couple turns. Now I'll take my other piece of flash material that I dropped and didn't realize. Uh, when you're working with neuropathy and you can't feel your fingers, uh, that does happen. And we'll give it one more quick whip finish. One, two, three, four. Good enough. Cinch it. And we're 
it take our loom water-based head cement and we'll trim it up and then we'll put our weed guard in and what I do with this if if uh, you just want to do finesse style jigs and you want the crop top uh, or buzz cut or however you want it, spider cut. A rule of thumb, just take it, just give it a, a, a slight pull and maybe an eighth inch above the head of the jig. And that kind of gives you a really good, uh, a really good look as well as... Um, Cut this off first. It gives it a really good look, good flare. Um, it seems to work the best. The length, everything seems to work doing that. So that's a rule of thumb. It's easier that way. You don't got to guess. Just say, okay, a little bit above the head and uh, it should work out fine for you. Now I got to cut loose to all the loops. I create it. I think we're good. Now we're going to add our weed guard, and I'll show you what we have then. I got another question again. Um, I know I covered this, so be patient with me. Not everybody uh, has seen it, so um, I will repeat some information from time to time. When you're gluing in a weed guard, this is Loctite Super Glue Gel Control. It has to be the gel. Otherwise, it wicks up the fibers and kind of ruins the weed guard. So we use our gel control. Put it in a little hole. And that is our smallmouth spotted bass football jig light. Um, you put a trailer on this, a little uh, like a tiny pocket craw or um, a Zoom uh, Super Chunk Junior, something like that. Drag it along. That's that's nice. I just, I, I happen to like this pattern a whole lot. Uh, it's going to blend in with the bottom and uh, you're fishing any kind of clear water, lightly stained water on rock flat. There you have it. Give it a shot. Let me know what you think. Thanks for watching.